how to sell on wix as a beginner hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how you can create your online store on wix.com to sell your products and run your business online so let's get started first what you have to do is you will simply go to wix.com and you will land on this platform right here wix is world's leading website builder that allows you to create your own portfolios blogs and photography websites any kind of website that you want to create plus it also allows you to create your own story so we can sell our products on wix and it has all the right features and tools for us let's get started First, what you have to do is you will simply, you know, sign up for Wix if you have not already signed up. So you just have to enter your email address and click on start now. I have opened up mywix.com and you can see right here, this is my Wix and I have different websites. So what I do is I create different websites and I will today, I will actually show you one of my stores that I've created and I will show you how you can create a store as well. Let's actually create a store from the scratch so you will have a better idea. To create a new website, you can simply click on create a new site. And now we have to choose the platform. We have Wix and Editor X. So if you are more pro and you know Wix and you want to get more updated features and more, if you want to edit in layers, then you can go with Editor X. But if you want to create a very professional website, then you can use Wix Classic. So I'm not going to complicate things and I will use Wix Classic. So as a beginner, it will be really easy for you to create a website. So from here, I'm going to choose online store so now we have to choose that if we want to start from the scratch like if we want an automatic website created for us or if you want to use the editor and create a website so that's what we want right i will click on edit a template and it will take us to the template gallery of wix where we can find from hundreds of different professional templates so i'm creating a jewelry store and you can see right here they have given me a lot of different options so this one looks pretty good then we have this this one this one see, these are all online store templates you can see i have different pages and i can explore more but for now i'm gonna go ahead and select this one you can preview the template or click on edit so now let's finally get into our editor and let me actually show you how you add different elements to your online store so this is our wix editor and in here i will be able to create my online store and you can see this template is actually pretty impressive you can see we will be able to add different products right here and this is actually a photo slider that has already been added in the template and you can slide and check out different products then we have our footer and header so it looks pretty good now let me actually show you around wix what happens is if i click on this add option right here this is like our menu bar in add i can add anything to my website i can add a text i can add an image button gallery decoratives with then we have boxes we have a socials we have a blog we have store right here so if you're running a website and you want to add a store to your existing website then you can go ahead and do that from this option right here but in store we will get different options such as shopping cart product widgets we have currency converters and others so this is where we will be working more today because we're creating a store then we have other other options as well then we have the pages option so let's go to the pages and you can see right here we have all of these pages we have home then we have collections we have locations about and contact and in, this is the look collection page we have location so i don't want locations so i'm actually going to delete this page all right so we have collections and then we have about and contact okay this looks perfect if i want to create a new page i will simply click on add page option and it allows us to add different pages and i can like add a pricing plan you know for a basic website but for our store we can just go with a general one or maybe a contact page this is how you simply create a page or you can create a blank page as well if you want to uh, but for now i'm just gonna go ahead and go with the pages that template gave us don't worry if you're thinking that your website will look the same as you're using a template well we can customize everything then we have the site design apps media this is where we upload all of our product images then we have start blogging and my store option so this is my store right here let's actually customize a bit so you can see right here this is not the name of my collection or this is not the name okay let's go to home actually i'm on collections i think 
All right, so you can see right here, this is not the name for my brand. This is not my logo. So I'm going to actually customize it all. What you have to do is simply click right here and this is not my brand name. So I'm going to edit it out. To edit a text, you simply click on the text and it opens up this for you. Now, all you have to do is simply click right here and edit your text. All right. So I have edited the header a bit. Then we have our text option. Again, I can edit this text. I can edit the button here. You can see I can change the text of the button and I can also change the link that has been added. You will notice that there is an, an image in the background. So I can just simply select this whole area. Now this image has been selected. All I have to do is you can see change slide background and I will click right here. This is the current background and I can just simply go ahead and change it to any other image if I want to. So I'm, I'm actually going to do that. Let's go with this image right here and I'm going to click on apply to other slides as well. This is going to be on slide one. That's it. So now I have changed the background image. This is what it looks like. Similarly, we have product slider right here. How to add this one? You simply go to add and we can add image from here and we can select an image gallery. Then I can go to my socials and I can select different social media accounts. Then if I go to store, in store, we have grid product gallery. So if you want a gallery like this, you can add it. If you want a product widget, you can also add this one. For example, I can just drag it and drop it right here. And you can see this is going to be kind of like a widget that will be shown here for a product that is on sale. So I'm just going to adjust it right here. Perfect. There you go. And then we have our footer. Similarly, I can go to add. This time I am going with store again, currency converter. Let's go with a currency converter and I'm going to add this option right here. All you have to do is drag and drop right here. You can see now I will actually drag it and maybe place it here. You can place it wherever you want to. After that, we have product, you know, slide gallery, how to manage products, simply go to manage product option. And when we are creating and selling products on Wix, we get our own dashboard in order to manage our products. You can see right here, we have store products, inventory, collections, we have gift cards, we have blog, subscription and more. So what happens is we can actually find different products to sell from our AliExpress, from our Modelist, from our Spocket. So if you're using any other platform, a drop shipping supplier, and if you have like Printful, if you have Teespring, so you can connect that to your Wix right here and you will be able to find the products to sell on your website. Similarly, we have our own inventory that we get with our own website here, our online store. So you can see right here, these are my products right now. And what I can do is I can change the product. I can, you know, change the information if it's in stock, out of stock, and I can add a product. To add a product, you simply go to products right here. And then you have to click on add product. If it's a digital file or a physical product, well, it's a physical product. So I will select this option. Then we have to add our product title. So you will simply add your product, you know, title, then you have to add images or a video. So you will simply click on add images and it will allow you to add image from your computer. You can upload image or you can actually, you know, select from the media from Wix as well. But of course, we're creating our products. We're selling our products. So we will upload uh, our image right here. Then we have to add our information such as our name description pricing so this is where you will add a pricing for the product so it is for twenty dollars and you can see where the cost of the good is actually fifteen dollars and the profit is going to be there you go so this is all the information then you can add custom text you can add stock here well it is in stock so i'm gonna select this one then you can also you know add the shipping details when it's done you simply click on save and a new product is added to your wix product uh, you know list and you can see right here this is a product that i just created so don't worry you don't have to go ahead and add a product every time like one by one you can actually import multiple products from your store from your shopify from your any any store where you're running your business you can import the list 
and it will be added right here so it's very easy to add products right here on wix and then we have our other settings such as the payment settings the shipment settings everything will be found right here the business information rules and permissions you can select from here so this is our own dashboard within our wix that allows us to sell products on wix.com so once you're done with this basic settings like adding products uh, importing products after that you just simply create a professional website on wix.com and you will be able to sell your products so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to sell products on wix.com if i were a big help don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel